I know, I know. It's out of the coffee maker, or coffee pot maker, not a Chemex, but. Oh well. Still good. Um, we don't have time to be doing that right now. We're getting ready for Black Friday. Um, as you can see, things look a little different here. Um, we even have Miss Capper back in the office doing work here. Say hi, Miss Capper. Hi, Miss Capper. Um, the boys are. What do we got going on here? The boys are back in town. Ken Diesel's. Apparently, I'm getting handcuffed or something. I don't know. Something's going on. We got more media being produced there. Mm -hmm. The girls are steadily packing packages, right? Yes. Oh, look, Liz, you're on camera and you're not eating. <laughs> you just missed it. Oh. <laughs> uh, but the the title of this video, um, there's a, man, there's a lot going on here, like all of this. Look at all these shelves. Can you even get out? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how. So, uh, finally, the Excommunicated Warrior audiobook is live, and thanks to a bunch of the people that already downloaded it, it made a number one release and bestseller. So we we broke the mold. But uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear from uh, some of the chapters. So what I did was I took a page. It's actually Josh Hansberger's recommendation was that I do kind of a breakdown podcast in between the thing. I guess David Goggins did it. I haven't listened to it yet, but um, his book. So we did that on ours, but uh, everybody's like, man, this is the the extra bonus content between the chapters and just talking about each chapter in a real casual manner with, with these individuals. Um, talking like Jeff Nichols, Vince Vargas, Kirk Weisler, Josh Hansberger, Johnny Slicks, um, and just breaking those things down. Their perspectives, their history, and mine is, it's good, it's good. So uh, check, check out some of those. I got some snippets that I'm gonna throw in here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back and talk about some other things. People ask me why I, I called ex, why I call it excommunicated. And it's like, were you, like, were you kicked out of a unit? Were you doing it? I was like, no, no, no. It's a feeling. That was a big change when I got out because identity, like I've always, I used to say, hey, that's, you know, the community isn't my identity. Like it or not, the lifestyle is, it became the identity, not the job as much as the lifestyle did. And Absolutely. so that was a big adjustment. And I'm sitting there in this light and I'm looking over to the left and I'm seeing this house and I'm thinking like, man, it's a terrible spot a sniper would be, right? And I start daydreaming, dude. And I took my foot off the brake and started rolling into the intersection. And, she, and, and, and as I'm doing that, I'm crumbling into my seat as if I got shot. And can I still save my family? Am I going to be able to take the vehicle into a safe direction? And I'm doing this in my head, not knowing I'm going into a busy intersection. You're just, you're, you're processing a course of action. Man, I felt better in boot camp being told, you know, all the, all the nonsense. They oh, told you're us a warrior. Earlier. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. but I was just like, you know how in boot camp you're like low? Yeah, like you're down and you're low. You don't you don't know what's going on. Like that's what it was like for me. It was just like a drastic change because like the day before you go to boot camp, you're like, I'm gonna be a marine, and then to get the day you get there, you're like, Oh shit! I hate everything about every decision <laughs> I've ever made that led me up to this decision for the yellow footprints. That you join the military and lose your freedoms that you're fighting for. Yeah, right. That's the, the yeah. thought in my head. I'm like. Oh my God, this doesn't feel good. All of a sudden, I'm in contract prison. Yeah. Like you know you're stuck. Yeah. And that that hurts because now you don't have the freedom to do it. So when it's want. time to leave, oh bro, that's where the that's you, that's yeah. It's yeah. that. Here we are. You and you and Nick love me. Like I, I know that. So that, that's what's that's what's so sad about when people get into this situ this this circle, you know, of circling the drain, is they have this altered perception of what. And and I like what Boone said. It's like it's a distortion. It's a real, it's a distortion of your reality. I had decided to take my own life and I was setting things up to do so, right? I had, I had gone to my, you know, my power of attorneys and started getting things so, sorted, right? Um, and then I had that real deep emotional breakthrough for whatever reason, where I realized that I was the common thread. I really was the problem. My why is knowing where I came from knowing being at the bottom of the mountain 
and also understanding the work that it takes to get to the top. Now the top is different. And you don't want to get back down there. No. Yeah. So I use that as a fire to say, okay, I, I, I refuse to the best of my control to have to be back in a state like that. That's mental, that's physical, that's emotional, yeah. it's connectivity with other people. Um, so I constantly put it in. Um, I get it. You have a TBI, you have post-traumatic stress, you have, you got fired, you got a divorce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, and yeah, you're gonna hide behind that. As a, like you said, that? you're gonna build your tent right there. Yeah, that's, guess, that's your identity I'm now. Camp out. I'm broken. I'm over here. You know, come to me, my little piggy party. No, yeah, I'm. I, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Well, yeah. Well, this guy lost a leg, and he got. You know what? He got an artificial leg, and he's learned, and he's at the gym. awesome right um I, I can't even tell you which my favorite is i think they're just all awesome just in different ways it's like a whole new book very very cool so i hope you guys enjoy it i uh, appreciate all of the uh the, you know the guys that have bought it already appreciate all the feedback let's go uh check and see what's going on with production is this your cool sweatshirt i just wanted them to see my cool sweatshirt in case they didn't know what who's this sweatshirt for it's designed by me is it our logo with Christmas lights on it? Yes. Careful, it's tight. You did a good job, babe. <laughs> I just, it took me a while, but I put the Christmas lights under the logo. That's so creative. I know. All right, have a nice, have a nice life. Okay. I'm gonna make it purple now, you wanna see? Yeah, what, what are we making here? Uh, this is hip to be scrub. This is gonna be the salt scrub based uh, out of Mrs. Slicks. Dope. Or we could say sweet. Sorry, it's hard for me to count and talk at the same time. I think I'm dyslexic, I don't know. You wanna see it purple though? I think they do wanna see it purple. 2,000 years later. Okay, purple time. Put all the ingredients in a bowl. Yeah, look how ugly this looks, am I right? That is not what it looks like when you're finished with it. No, it's just a, a mixing process, you know? So, Black Friday, give Black it Black Friday. Um, we're doing 20% off. That's a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Big deal and a big deal. Get it? Uh, <laughs> we're doing that, but we're also launching um, the Mrs. Sucks products. So we have Bodacious Butter, Babe Wash, and Hip to Be Scrub. Um, they're all gonna be like really cool, like this, you know? Like really, really cool. Um, I also, can show them. There's just the, the body wash. There's the scrub. Should three variants there. And uh, I don't know. I don't know where the other thing is. Okay, they've seen him. Cool, look at that. That's the scrub there. Wish you guys could smell it. But if you wanna smell it, you can buy some. Mrs.com. Um, we're also launching mugs, which, should I go grab one? Yeah. Okay, follow me. We got mugs and leather bags. So we got these bad boys. That is pretty dope. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, I think we got like 45 of these, so okay. they're, they're gonna be gone. And then uh, these these cool leather bags. Wait. These badass leather bags. I like that we added a handle. Yeah, makes it convenient. Mm -hmm. Also, if it's heavy, it's a weapon as well. Put all your Johnny Slick stuff in there and then smack somebody with Wap, is that called whapping? Wapping. Whopping? Whapping? Whapping, whopping. I mean, it makes a whap sound. Yeah, that's good. Whap. Yeah. Um, but 20% off um, everything except exclusive? Exclusive? Ex except exclusive. Which is everything you just... I'm not crazy. You guys say that word, too. It's 
difficult. Which yeah, so <laughs> everything but what I just explained. <laughs> um, but if you want to, I can show you what is going to be on sale. All this stuff. This is only only like one sixteenth of everything. But why don't we show them the? Uh, why don't you show them your board? My board. Okay. Yeah. We can, we can show them the board. Yeah, we show them the board. Hey, turn around though. Look at these. Look at all these boxes. Oh, they haven't seen the new boxes yet. Oh, this one's the best one. I like the large one. So this is the new box. We're not stamping boxes anymore. Just don't have time for it. Isn't that cool? Look, and uh, I'm just like doing plugs without even saying anything. <laughs> That's Facebook and there's Instagram. Yeah. I show a board, yeah? Don't go in the back. Oh, I'm Nothing going in the back. the back. We're so going deep in our, the back. This is our board. This is our board. Um, we actually have a lot more than this done, but I don't check things off until it's until it's actually done, you know? So I have, like yesterday we did a thousand palmades. Um, this is this see, is just for Black Friday. This is just Black Friday. So yeah. we have 2,855 palmades we need to make, um, 1,000 down. Formula 49, I'm actually making it right behind this board right now and i got a lot of those made uh slick strips done all of the beard oils done uh beast wash tom's working on right now beard wash is coming next all the slick spray done so okay i'm gonna go check in with tom, tom just give me a just give you a cool. all right just... bye see you black friday uh, actually pretty excited these are pretty uh, ridiculous numbers we've we've never done these numbers before so i'm really excited to see that and who doesn't want 20 percent off no, it's gonna be a couple long days. <laughs> I don't know, I, I get paid for it. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. That's what it'll look like in the uh, in the old mobile template. That's my face. And this is where you sign up, so. Enhance. So what I'm gonna do is, because stock is limited, only people with the password, which is only gonna be given out through the email um, so on Thanksgiving Day from midnight until from midnight until 5 p.m. everybody with the password on the email list will get first rights to the stock and um, yeah and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give the first 50 hardbacks that are sold for Black Friday which means basically the end of Thanksgiving Thanksgiving until they're gone, I'm gonna give a code for a free audiobook. I think that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Um, but to get the code to get to the website, you need to be able to you need to uh, get signed up on the email. So do that. Um, other than that, we are 20% um, off all of our programs. Josh and I finally launched. We finally got our swim protocol done. Um, and we've got a hypertrophy program, a strength program, and a conditioning program. So what we did was we took the daily agogi training, the cycles that we run through, these like because we kind of just go through like cycle after cycle, and we just took those out as standalone programs. So those will be on the website as well, all on uh, Black Friday. Yeah. Alexa, stop. All right, any last words? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're ending the vlog. Oh, uh, love you, cherish you. Um, see, you after, oh. see you after Thanksgiving? Yeah, see you after Thanksgiving. Have fun. Love you. What Stay safe. Are you going to end it? Stay safe. I'm ending it? You want to end it? Put your dick into it. <laughs> oh, God. You sure you want me to end it? I can end it. I can do it. I can do it. A lot of pressure, though. Okay, so um, I hope everybody has a phenomenal Thanksgiving. Spend a lot of time with your family and make sure you tell them that you're very thankful for them because you are you are so tell them um and as you guys know um never quit never surrender always moving forward that was, that was pretty good johnny all right Thanks. bye guys